uh, hi everyone and welcome back so this is our post entity and we want to do a search on this right so we also want to create an index so this is the how we can create an index you can just specify the fields and an array okay when you do npm run db sync it will create the index on these two columns and we already have these jsonv columns added right so jsonv is like a type in the postgres where you can create a nested json structure json having an array of object or simple object inside a column and jsonv has its own utility methods to do a search or to do a queries on that type of data so here you can see the default is type null here we have a title url and email as a not null okay so what we will do is we will try to spin up this and we have here the post service doing nothing but uh, accessing this post repository and doing some find by id save create update all these things now we will add the save method also so what we will do is docker compose up let's check we have a docker configuration there because this is the project which we have which we already have we just copied it to a new project docker compose up so what it will do is it will look for the migrations i think we can for now delete these we don't want to execute them we have changed our entity and test folder also And whenever you do npm run build first clean up the dist folder so you don't get any kind of uh, the previous old code build so here we have our container running uh, we have postgres and we have a node.js everything is up and running and now what we will do is we will try to see all the things like what what we have in service what we have in the controller so this controller is just a uh, accessing this post service which we have created here and it is just calling the simple methods create update delete i mean you can keep adding these methods and it is accessing this post repo okay now as the container is up and running what we can do is let's get inside the container here is our pagination scs container inspect attach shell and we are inside this container so after doing this what we will do is uh, we will just do npm run db sync command this will help us to populate the table <coughs> so what do we have in the entities this is the post we have two indexes email title and this is the table structure this is how it look like right now once this is created we will expose an api okay you can create a post and then you will write a search search is kind of simple uh, what we are going to do is uh, like for the create post we have created a dto so we can add uh, more arguments more parameters to this like url email title let's say uh, i also wanted to add uh, the tags like the blog has a uh, technical tags okay this is for nextjs nodejs react Redux, these kind of tags you can also attach with your blog post. So this is a tags which is another type. So let's create another type uh, which is nothing but a post tag. Okay, because this is a JSON object, export class post tag, and what we have inside it is this is is optional property and having tag property inside it. You can add a description also here what it talks about okay post tag name and we can import this optional property post tag and we can add post tag here so post tag is nothing but a json object that will allow user can pass that so here it should be of type post tag array min size we can do is one and then validate type so this is coming from class transformer validate type 
so this is tags which is optional first of all type as validate type is array let me see what it is is optional we have is array validate nested okay so this is how you can take a json object as an input payload with proper validation here i'm saying that tag is optional but if you are providing that sort of view of type string you can also set minimum length and all these things for post tag and here is you can fix the import order cool we are good here so this is our dtu which is taking input for creating the post and in the post entity we also have a email title social links tags and all and now you can see uh, my migration also run i mean npm run db sync which automatically creates the database table and it has created it now you can see and it has also created an index this is what i was talking about that when we are doing a search we need indexed so our search can be optimized and you can also decide on which particular field you wanted to create index right so now we can actually open our uh, tool to look into the database and there we can see here is our database and we have only posts and in the post table we have this kind of a data okay you can also check the ddl okay we have the index on the email that is fine email and title and this is unique key uh, id is unique key and a primary key that is fine title also we can make unique because what we are doing is we are checking if title is there or not so to make it unique what you can do is uh, this is title i think there should be a notation at the it unique or something let me just explore this yes this is coming from this and here you can specify title and unique we can import from type rm and again you do npm run db sync so what it will do is whatever is created it will keep that but whatever has changed it will apply that on that database right this is what npm run db sync does now we have our create mechanism we have uh, controller services and all what we will do is we need to create a search dto search dto means which will take okay i want to search among all the the posts right so i will be creating a search dto for that search dto will take uh, page limit offset and all these things so same as we have created a create dto we will add our required property in the search dto so this is this will be the payload which we are going to pass to our search api search dto it's a class so just take care of the camel casing and here is optional and these search parameter are optional it means whatever you are passing we will just check that search term we will check search term against the title okay and we are saying minimum length should be two for the search length and this is optional first of all required false this is search term and this is is of this is each string and first of all is optional that means i'm not forcing user to pass this search term then we can have other attributes which are like page and limit right because first we are looking at the offset based pagination that means we need to have these two another properties page number of the request and number of records you want in the request and this should be a positive number that's why i spe specifically added all these things that minimum should be one type of number you can't pass minus one minus ten or something that is just to add a validation so now we have this is search dto what else we wanted to add uh, we have tags also so we can have another attribute which is calling which is saying okay we also want to add a tags so let's add another attribute i mean you can search the blog post based on a particular tag and the api property let's we'll call it as a tags 
and this is an array so what do you think about this that means you can pass multiple tag equal to node.js tag equal to react angular redux like this then it will just look for all those blocks having either you might be providing the search term and the tags or nothing only providing a page and limit so these two will create the where condition search term and the tags we can keep them closer okay and the piece and uh, limit is there if you're not providing the piece and limit the by default the piece will be the one and offset will be 10 or 15 the number of records you wanted to fetch okay search post detail now we will write our controller this is our controller and we will take this query parameter for our input so here we will say this is my this should be a get request and you will see api v1 post let's say search okay we will just convert this method to search post and here it will be search post dto okay because here we are doing search search post dto and we just need to import this search post dto and all the this is not a body this is coming in the params query params oh, what did we create it so this will be first of all param okay in the params we will be getting all the things okay and here it will be let's see what was the dto name we have added search post dto and just import this add search dto so now in the params you are getting all the things you needed right and we are already using validation pipe so it will take care of validation of things okay so we are doing params okay wait a second here we are doing a little bit wrong things so params is used for when you are passing the id something like this right but here what we are doing is here we are using query parameter so the the api will be something like this api post search okay and you will be passing tag equal to node.js right so it's like a query parameter you are sending so what you need to do is just simply change this query param right uh, we can call it as a query params search post dto and import the query thing from nest.js add query and here we will just convert this into search and we are going to pass post parameter this will contains all the data you are sending the tags in form of an array and a search term in, in form of a string everything now if we have a create method we'll create our search method here and we are already accepting the dto so this is params search post dto okay now here's the main story will start here in the dto we might be getting uh, everything right so this is like a pagination DTO you are getting inside a pagination DTO we will specify like what all we are getting we might be getting the page number offset search term and all these things okay so we will take the action accordingly now first of all we are talking about pagination uh, uh, offset based pagination what you are doing is okay give me the page one and uh, limit 10 give me the page number 2 and limit 10 so we are just doing the offset 10 in the second request right so here we will just write our code try catch we'll handle the error here from this pagination dto we'll just get the page and limit okay. 
that we are getting from params okay we got the pgen limit now it depends on you how you want to do it currently we don't have a custom logic where conditions and all but we have a json column right if you have seen our database this is our database social links is of type json b tags is of type json b and we wanted to perform a search on this tag this is a little different right you can't just say simply tag equal to something like this okay so we have to use some uh, json b methods provided by postgres to solve this search so we got the page and limit we can just say uh, we can actually create our pagination object pagination object that will have okay uh, page either we are getting the page from there otherwise we'll just put page one and the limit if we are getting a limit from there otherwise we'll put 10 okay so this is the local object we have created and now we can start calling a method so we will just say we are going to return the total count and the number of posts okay so total count we are going to return these two things from the method which we are going to call posts and let's say we are going to write another method here this dot search posts and uh, we'll just pass this dto pagination dto okay and what we are going to return is simply the total count the page limit offset and all these properties total count means how many records are there for that criteria page so page is pagination object which we have created dot page uh, by default it will be one otherwise it will be 10 the limit limit is pagination dot limit and then finally the data I mean this is the data which we are going to return so we will just check posts dot length is there or not if posts dot length is there if it is greater than zero then we will say okay return these posts otherwise this is a ternary operator otherwise just return the empty array we didn't receive any data hard luck and now we will just write this search post method which where we can write a we, we can use a query builder or you can we can write our own method and it, this method can be a private because this is not being exposed by controller I and mean, controller is not calling this private async search post and we are getting params of type uh, search post and this whole thing is returning a promise promise of promise object in this thing we have like total count and the post okay so it's going to return an object any let's say for now from that any we are returning the total count and the posts okay now let's do this find all method and in the find all you can either use a query builder which will have a page and limit and we know that these are of type number okay and uh, we will get the page and limit from our search parameter so this is what we get pagination of type 2 and pagination dto so this is params okay now uh, first of all we need to find the number of skipped items right because we are using offset based pagination skipped items equal to pagination dot page minus one and the limit right so what we can do is pagination object we have dot page minus one 
we'll just multiply this with the limit which is pagination here we can get whatever we are passing const so what we are getting is search term search term equal to we are getting from params and there is one more thing we are getting which is uh, tags I think from I mean we can just write it in the same line why you need a different line so we are getting both the arguments tags can be a string or tags can be an array because the, the logic here is tags we are accepting as an array but if you are passing only one tag in the query parameter then it will come as a string but if you are passing multiple tags then it will come as an array okay now you can actually build a query let query equal to so you can start writing your logic here select select count star so this is to get the total count this is a postgres1 over as count so i i just don't want to to execute one more query for this to get the total count so i'm getting the total count in the same query and then we can add our additional columns like i need id i need title email and all the other arguments i want right now here we need just need to add a where close okay select all these from a particular table posts right this is end of our first query now we just need to add a where condition now where condition will be a uh, conditional because if you are getting the search term and tags only then only we will add the where condition otherwise we'll just uh, get by just adding the order by order by let's say title and uh, we will just say limit equal to this and offset equal to this right this is what we need after this so this is our initial query but we can't add it here we because we need a where statement also where close will also be there based on the search term and the length of the tag right so that condition we will add here we are searching against title url email or text anything right so what we are doing here is we are getting the search term right search term and the tags from the payload so our query will not be uh, like this what we need to do is we need to think when should we apply the where close when we are getting the tags when we are getting the search term only then we will apply the where close right so we just put a where close here where id not equal to null and then we can think of okay if search term is there okay search from the title text email or let's say url okay we have another column url so we can also add that here so we are matching in all these things so it's like a manual query we are writing the row sql query and then we also need to think about these tags now this is a little bit tricky here we are covering a lot of things first of all postgres table how to index the the columns how to run the migrations using npm run db sync and then finally like how can we search from the tags which is of type json b which is of type json structure which is like a json tags of array and it will have a tag property in each and every array object how can we search through this this is challenging right so we have already have the indexing unique key primary key and uh, we already have index added now the important challenge is how can we actually search through the tags so you will when you uh, when i explored the documentation i found out that that i can use json to json b2 record set okay that i will add here so when you wanted to search over or extract the data from any json b column then you can use json b2 record set and here you will provide your table post dot the tags and here you can actually extract the data like this tag item i will say tag item and inside this i will say tag i so, so tags is an array of object right and there is a property tag so i will get this tag item and i can access the tag property of type text 
okay this is just a way around like how you can extract the data okay and i should be able to get the tag item dot tag now which will give me that property which i have in the array object so this is something like this so tags is an array which has this object which is having tag equal to node.js okay it is having another tag which is let's say react so this is my json p column in the database so this json p to record set will extract each and every object and give me the tag item dot tag now what i did is i wrote a method which will just give me uh, the number of tags i am having in the whole object extract tags okay so that i have added here extract tags that will just give me the array because if you are passing a single tag in the query parameter then it will come as a string so i am just converting that into an array of tags and returning to us okay so i can just say here const extract tags so we are getting this dot extract tags dot length and uh, const tag extract equal to this dot we have this method extract tags and we are passing on the params this will just look into the tags array tags may be a string or an array and it will give us the tag extract now we have already applied the search for the search term now what is the left what is left is this tag extract right so we will write our code here what we need to do now is we will just say if tag extract tag extract is the property right let's just check this out this is going a little slow sorry for that tag extract if it is there and tag extract dot length is greater than zero then we are good we can do a lot of things around it so we can actually do the same thing we'll create one variable right and then we will add it to the query so this is the query string we are adding so let's say initially my why this is complaining tag extract this dot extract tag is returning okay we don't need a wait now this is fine what we are saying is initially my query string is empty and here i will just run a fold for of loop const tag of tag extract and here i can just build the query it's like a manually you are building the query if we already have a query string there now it's just a simple string concatenation logic if query string is not there then uh, create a query string initialize a query string like this where query string tag item dot tag is of like tag okay the tag which you are specifying okay put an exclamation now else we already have a query string available we just add a or condition because you might be passing multiple tags okay we just need to add a or here i like tag query string what is missing here okay so now things should be fine we got the query string and finally just do the end query end logic because whatever we are searching that should match with the search term and also should follow this criteria okay now this is our query finally what we will do is we will just add a group by id name pagination and offset because we are doing offset based logic and once we have the query you can actually do console.log query and then we can just say const posts equal to await this dot post repo this should be post repo dot query builder 
So every uh, repository exposes this dot query method and you can pass the query builder. Okay, query builder and we will get the data. We are doing await here and then we can also get the count. Const count equal to, we can do the parsint. I function is getting larger and larger. I need to take care of this type script validation. Okay, I'm getting these posts and count. Now, if I got what I need, I will just return this object from the response and that's it. So, what I will do is return posts and the total count. Count which I received as a count. Now, the important part here is what I'm talking about this video. This is very simple query builder. You, you can write far better than this. Okay, we are getting the search term and the text. Tags we converted that into an array and here tags is of JSON object so you have to use this uh, JSON to record set okay this will look into the tags column of the post table and give me the, the tag item property tag item will have a tag from each and every, uh, every array object and then I'm just looking for each and every tag using the where condition and this is simple right so now this is my simple pagination now what we are doing is we are actually using this pagination dot limit and offset offset means if offset is 1 the limit is 10 okay skip the 10 items if page number is 3 our limit is 10 then skip the 20 items so we are calculating the skipped items and we are counting this now where it can change this is offset based when we are talking about the key set based then we are not going to skip the items we are going to check where id is greater than the previous key set id okay so in that case database doesn't need to calculate all the records and skip the set of items okay first let's uh, keep this running and then we will add the key set pagination on top of this uh, thanks everyone